Carmen Corp. They are quite possibly the most confusing team in the history of competitive Valorant. Despite having a franchise spot and top tier talent like the likes of Scream, it sometimes looks like they've never touched the game before. XMS just walk XMS. backwards and pick up the rifle. Scream can't buy, just walk backwards and pick up the rifle. He's gonna survive instead of going and picking up the rifle that Scream needs in the next, I cannot believe it. They've become the car accident that you can't look away from. And incredibly, it's gotten them some diehard fans. All right, when you think of a tier one franchised Valorant team, you probably think of some of the best players in the world, right? When you think of a mechanically blessed veteran IGL, you probably think of a roster that has rock solid fundamentals and a killer instinct. On paper, that's Carmen Core. But if you've seen just a few rounds of these boys play, you'd know that they aren't the well-oiled machine that they should be. I'm literally watching Navera put the headphones back in his head right now. What is going on? <laughs> He's in spawn. He didn't buy. He forgot to buy with oh. 3,500 credits because he took his headphones off. <laughs> but before we get into this absolute clown fiesta, we need to talk about how we actually got here. Carmen Corps is a pretty legendary French org with plenty of success in other titles such as League of Legends and Rocket League. And in 2022, KCOR decided to dip their toes into Valorant, signing a team of mostly unknown French players. But when Valorant announced the franchise teams for the 2023 VCT, Carmen Corps was one of them. And just a couple of months later, the org would sign Scream, his brother Navera, and former French CS journeyman, XMS. And let's just say, there was a lot of hype. Battre ses ennemis en un seul coup. Échec et mat. Prior to joining KCOR, Scream and Navera were on Team Liquid, but after a very lackluster 2022, the boys needed a fresh start. And with Scream's storied CSGO history and presence as a content creator, he brought a ton of fans with him. So everyone was eager to see what these guys could do. And after a pretty solid showing at the VCT lock-in, KCOR would start off hot going 2-0 in the first regular season matchup. However, that would mark the end of the good times for KCOR because over the course of the next month or so, they would fail to win a single map against another team. Now, I know you might be thinking, who cares? There's always going to be bad teams in a league that struggle to win. It's the way these things work. But here's the thing. KCOR wasn't just getting beat by more skilled teams. They were losing rounds in spectacular fashion. KC back in the fight! And CNET has an operator on the retake. Good kill from Zipan. Mm -hmm. And a second from CNET, 2v2, four seconds! No one's placing the stone! Down. Oh no! Please plant the spike, you have to for money. Please, I don't care about saving, try to plant the spike. They or you are guns. capped at a thousand credits. And they take the choice of saving the guns, don't go for the spike plant, could have been punished. Learning moment, learning moment though, because I've seen KC do this before. Misplaced utility, seemingly zero mid-round calling, absolutely no comprehension of the game's economy. You name it, KCOR was f***ing up almost every aspect of the game. It got to the point that KCOR's fan base turned into an even bigger cult following. People became obsessed with watching them play because it was just so goddamn chaotic. Eventually, popular caster and analyst Sideshow would start hosting watch parties dedicated to KCOR. And each week, thousands of people would tune in to experience the madness together. Time! 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 I was getting dangerously close to running out of time. TIME! There's no time on the diffuse, Lauren! You f melons! But why? Why was KCOR making these fundamental mistakes that were costing them games? It was almost beyond explanation. Favorite on Ascent was round 17, where XMS has an op. They don't even have the Vera op in. They have XMS op in, and he smokes himself off. He uses <laughs> both smokes at the beginning of these rounds every time, so he doesn't have them for the mid rounding. He smokes himself off, even though he's holding mid, and then Scream misses his molly over the top of Cat, and Rekka gets distracted by how badly it missed. And if you thought it couldn't get any worse, you'd be sadly mistaken. Because just last week, one of their players, New Zera, just straight up left the team. And since the rosters are locked in for the season, they can't replace him. So they're stuck playing with their assistant coach as a substitute. So the team is obviously cursed by some unknown eldritch horror, but at the same time, 
someone needs to be at fault, right? Sure, you can call Scream and XMS washed all you want, but at the very least, they are still mechanically skilled players. Scream is the one tap machine who to this day still has the highest headshot percentage in CSGO. You don't just lose that overnight. Well, since the team was making these fundamental errors, the most obvious thing people could point to was Scream's IGLing. As good of a player as he is, Scream was never really known for his ability to lead a team. And many were wondering if the team would be better off with someone else at the helm. That way Scream and his brother could just go kill. Well, it turns out that News Era leaving might have been a blessing in disguise. Over the last week, KCOR decided to give the IGL role to the assistant coach turned player, and everything would come down to the match yesterday against Koi. Koi was a team with a similar history to KCOR. They won their first match, but ever since then, it's been all zeros. However, Koi is not known for their inability to play the game properly. They just lose. So this matchup could have very well been the nail in the coffin for KCOR. And despite winning the first map, KCOR started to fall into some familiar patterns. So, Nevera should be breaking this now to distract. And instead, he's going on the so massive the wraparound. wraparound to CT. Cold Amenta can win. Oh my god, no, bro, no. 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 He killed someone. Please, no way. No. 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 Carmen Core, no. But by the grace of God, K Core managed to come together and squeak out a win. And let me just say, it was f***ing hype. So he's repositioning, that's fine, that's no, good. No, no, no. Good stop. paranoia, paranoia. great paranoia. Stop. Really good paranoia. Slows them down. Oh. Oh. XMS. Nice. Let's go! Let's go! Come on, come in, Core! Push them forwards, no! Yes! And looking back at the stats of the game, who was at the top of the leaderboards? Scream and Nevera. So maybe, maybe that was the problem the entire time. And to be fair to Scream, it's not a really unique one. IGLing is the hardest role in plenty of games. And over the years, we've seen a lot of teams struggle in that department, especially in CSGO. Zaiwu, Nico, Stewie, all these players were held back at some point because they were busy trying to lead the team while also being the star player. And I think that's sort of what was going on with KCOR. The question is, will their success continue? And if they only manage to improve ever so slightly, will they still get all of this attention? Their new fandom was built upon them being an absolutely chaotic dumpster fire. So what happens if they stop being that? But part of me feels like it almost doesn't matter anymore. KCOR have become the ultimate underdog at this point, And as long as they keep that energy, things will always be entertaining. And at the end of the day, Having fun is what this is all about. Why you pick me, bro? Why you pick me, bro? Bald Sideshow with the Muzzy. Elite combo. I remember him from uh, the Overwatch days and he was still just as funny, but then I kind of didn't see him for a while. And yeah, the Chromas Domus with the, the porn star stash. It's, it's a great look, nothing but respect.